Do you know what is a failed double top? Have you ever thought that a failed double top can give you another pattern? If you don't know what is a failed double top, this is the video for you. And I want to get down into the video. So make sure you watch until the end so that you can be able to identify a failed double top and to know what it is. So one thing you need to understand is that, and this is episode four, I have done episode one, two, three, concerning double tops. And I don't know how far we'll go with this episode, but I want at least everyone to be able to understand how to trade a double top. Every time you see a double top, at least you're able to trade it, okay? So I don't know how far, uh, I don't know how far we have, we will go with this, but let's, let's just do it. Um, a double top looks like this. And I keep, I think this is something I've, I've kept uh, repeating. A double top looks like that. This is where you have your first attempt. This is always a first attempt. And this is a second attempt. A double top is a market that has created a resistance. And then the market either the sellers have come in or it is exhaustion time. And then we have another move by the buyers. They come to the same resistance and they are unable to break it the second time. So when they come for the second time, we call it a double top. So that's how a pattern is created. So whenever you have this double top, the market can give you so many uh, patterns from the double top. Number one pattern, it can give you a complete double top. A complete double top is when the market uh, reaches half and then there's a continuation. They break half, they come to the neckline. Once they come to the neckline, they break the neckline and continue with the journey. This is what we call a complete double top. And I think I will do a video uh, giving you an example of a complete double top. Now, on the other hand, a failed double top looks like this. So we have the first top, we have the neckline, the second top. So this is the failed double top. A failed double top is a double top that reaches half and fails to continue. That's what we say a failed double top. So a failed double top is a double top that reaches half and fails, it reaches here, ranges at the half and fails to break the half. And instead it comes, violates this area. It violates this area. So it breaks it. So once it breaks it, this is what we call a failed double top. So you need to understand a failed double top can also be called a failed double top can also be called a cup and handle. Cup and handle. So that is a failed cup double top. So if you have never known how cup, cup and handle, if you have never known how people trade cup and handle, cup and handle as a, are a result of a failed double top. So if I want to make a cup here, a cup pattern, this will be my cup. Where you drink with the cup, you know that pattern came from the idea of the cup is where the, the two tops are. And then the bottom is the neckline. The handle is where the market is refusing to do what? Is refusing to, to break. This is where the handle is. So a failed double top creates a new pattern we call cup and handle. And I believe majority of you have found this cup and handle in your trades, but you have never known which pattern is this. So, and the cup and handle has to take profit. It has to take profit one up to the half and the whole distance, okay? So that is what a failed double top is. And we have so many examples. Anytime you see a double top that reaches half and refuses to break. Anytime you see a double top, it reaches half, it fails to break, it forms a cup and handle. So let me show you uh, with an example. So here we have this double top, very visible double top. So this double top, I will, I will mark everything. I will mark my neckline and then I will mark my half. So I have that. So this double top, I have everything like that. Once I mark everything, I can have a complete double top like that breaks neckline and continues. I can have a complete double top that does like that. That's a complete double top. And a complete double top, it will go this distance. So I think by now you already know how to treat these patterns because 
the level of repetition on these videos, it needs you to have mastered. Like you can tell me, by the way, I am observing this and this double top. So you can see you have that double top and um, that is a complete double top. But we have another one where the market, instead of breaking half, it comes and plays around or range around the half and eventually breaks. Once it breaks, what it will form, it's a cup and handle. And that's what we are doing in this video. So in this, you can have either two patterns. So when the, the, the double top is starting, you even not sure which pattern you will have. You're not sure if you will have a cup and handle or a complete double top. That's why we trade with stages. So you will trade with stage one. Stage one is up to half. Then you observe how the market is behaving. Uh, so that's what we will have. So the market can come and activate that half. Are we together, guys? Are we together? So that's how that's how a double top is. And I want us to do with that example. Let's do the example. So in this case, I have this double top. I have deleted so we can start. I have the neckline and I have the half. So I want us to begin and see together how you should trade. Always understand there are two types of double top. And I told you, there are two types of double top. A double top, double top, double top, double top on uptrend, we say it is hard to trade. Okay, we say this one is hard to trade. Why did we say it's hard to trade? Because the market is on an uptrend. This market is on an uptrend. You can see the market is on an uptrend. And you, you are trying to come and start selling here. So when the market is on an uptrend, buyers are in control. So whenever you want to trade a double top on an uptrend is hard to trade. But a double top on an uptrend can give birth to a cup and handle because cup and handle is a continuation of a buy. So anytime you see a double top on an uptrend, don't say, ah, this one I won't trade it. Be look be on the lookout of um be on the lookout on over of a cup and handle like this one because it's on an uptrend we can start even uh predicting that the market will come here and continue to go up and that's why sometimes you may see some people are accurate in their trading because they have already mastered what works for them so we will be using WBB strategy here because it's on the daily. So the WBB is what we we'll use. WBB means first to wait for a red candle. So I will play and see the red candle. You can see that red candle even has a wick, so it has not engulfed. The second, uh, the second thing is to wait for it to put a box on the red candle. Not I have not interfered with the green. I have just drawn the box. Everything included in the box, and then I wait for the box to break. So the box has not broken. Once you have to notice, once you have a green candle, you remove the box. So we will remove the box and start again because we cannot have a box that has a red candle and a green candle inside. Okay, guys. So you remove the box, start again, waiting for a red candle to engulf the green candle. So you can see we do not have an anger. So you take another box. This candle, the red candle has not engulfed the green one. In case a green candle happens, I will remove the box. So that's what you do. So you can see the box has been broken. And in that case, we have 116 pips. Can you imagine 116 pips? So you trade, you enter, you trade 116 pips. So let's see what happens. Immediately after two days, the trade has been activated. So remember what we said. We said a double top can either gives you a cup and handle or a failed double top that is a cup and handle or complete double top. So either we get the market breaking with a red candle or we get the market moving upward. From here, they move upward. And once they move upward, they give a what? They give a, they violate, they, they make this double top to fail, giving us a cup and handle. So here you have to have patience. There's nothing you're doing. Note, don't trade inside this area. 
don't trade inside this area because it can it can be a trap. So we are not interested to trade. We'll be looking forward if the market breaks this box and give us a cup and handle or it breaks our half. So you have to be patient. Note, if it breaks above, you are going this distance above, okay? So that's what um, we are going to do. So we are going that distance if they break above. And TP1 is guaranteed. The half of that distance is guaranteed. The other one is not guaranteed. So don't again stretch, overstretch your trades because you want to maximize all your, your trades. Okay, guys. So let's see what happens. We have said you're not trading there. So we'll be waiting for the market either to break either side. So you can see we are waiting for the market to break. And as you can see, this distance has been broken. So that's how cup and handle they are formed because the market did not break half. It broke on the upper side. Can't you see this is a cup? Can't you see, let me use a brush. Can't you see this is a cup? And this is the handle. <laughs> this is a cup, guys. The cup that you can take to, to take porridge. So that is the cup. So, and that's how it looks like. Now, if you enter this trade, you are targeting TP1. I've said TP2 is not guaranteed. So we are targeting TP1. How many pips are those? 254 pips. Oh my goodness. These patterns, they are very profitable. 254, it's a lot of money. 254. And the market reached there. Up to here is not guaranteed, but I don't know if it reached. It reached up to there. So if you were trading from here, all the way you would have made 511, but the market went 249 pips. The question is, would you have seen that up and handle? Anyway, guys, that is it. If you're interested in my mentorship program, I charge a thousand dollars for a full course. And guys, what I teach on that course is mind blowing. That is the knowledge that the Holy Spirit himself has given me. And I'm ready to teach everyone who is willing to pay the price. If you pay a thousand dollars, be assured you will learn something even much greater. You will learn about sell zone, buy zone, RBV, RWR. You learn, you, you, you will learn a lot of strategies that will be profitable. And by the time uh, you are maybe the third month, the fourth month, you'll be a very profitable trader. So thank you for watching. All the best and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.